All right, we're moving along with the body work. <clears throat> um, you know, the sides aren't too bad, but the hood and the roof and the back all seems to have this flaked off paint, which it's been the biggest issue so far. I've been hitting it with uh, 40 grit on the power sander just to knock most of the big flakes off. Then we're gonna go over it with 80, then we're gonna do 150, then 320, then I'm gonna shoot it with a coat of filler primer, then I'm gonna do 600, and I think that'll do it. Um, but basically, I've gotta get it all smoothed out, otherwise you'll see all of this when I paint over. It's really, I got all the trim pieces off, and I got all the stripes off and all that adhesive. Uh, it's just like the hood, the roof, and that back that have this real bad peeling. The rest of this can just be scuffed up, and it won't need any filler primer. So, uh, that's about where we're at. We disassembled some of the interior. But we've still got to clean this up and scuff it before we're ready to spray. I'll have to take the dash off. Now, uh, I did the back for a little bit, then I got bored and moved to the front, but let me see if I can kind of show you. I mean, you can, ah, I got the mask on, but you can see that it goes down to bare metal and gets shiny. Some of these areas you can still see the orange, so you're going to have to go over those a little more, and same with the top, but areas like this, pretty much good to go. This still needs sanded. So I did a lot of the back. Now that needs some more sanding, but I got bored and wanted to come check out the front. So I did a bit of the hood and um, well, I've done most of the hood. And you can see what it's looking like. And this is what it looked like before. But you sand it for a little bit and then it gets to that and you basically need to keep going until it's shiny. You don't want to leave any of this orange stuff here. I'm going to get all the way down to where it's shiny. This, uh, these streaks of paint, I probably should have just done some stripper or navel jelly on there to actually pull it off, but what I'm going to, <coughs> what I'm going to try to do is oh, sand this down a bit more, do some high build primer, and then sand again. I've got some hail dents in here, the low spots that I gotta fill. You can see those, so I'm gonna see how that does with the high build primer and see if it gets rid of these streaks. If not, I'll just have to sand it all off to make sure it's flat and we don't see those. But basically, it started out looking like this, and then it goes to that. And this is 40 grit on the power sander. Update here, I cannot tell if the camera's focused, but I ended up using paint stripper and taking all the, the paint off totally down to the metal for the hood. And what you're seeing now is just some uh, filler spots because I had a bunch of, you can see it a lot better uh, on the hood, but I had a bunch of hail damage, or the roof, sorry, I'll show you that in a second. So I'm just doing these hail damage spots with the filler. I'll give you a shot up on the roof. This is where I've, I'm done with the filler. So afterwards you can see it's just these little little white balls here, but I assure you it's all smooth to the touch. Just the low spots have been filled in with the filler and I did uh, grind out all the rust. Well, there wasn't really much rust, but I ground off all the paint and everything in these holes before I shot them with some rust converter and then the Bondo. So I'll get back to sanding on this guy the entire car has been done with 80, 150, 320, and now the areas that went down to bare metal got a coat of filler primer. And now the whole car is gonna get 600 just to level it all off. I'm not blocking anything. There's not really any body work in this. Well, that's not true. The hood and roof had hail damage. So some of those spots probably could use some blocking just to make sure they're perfectly flat, but um, I don't care. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna get into right now. And I'm doing the 600 with 
a power sander as well. Really not a lot's been done by hand. The only spot that really could probably use it is back here. Um, this area was, I mean, you can see it. I, it's not gonna come out well in the light. Maybe on the computer screen it will, but I mean, there's a lot of, this area was super just, the paint was all messed up and flaky. So that spot probably could have used some help, but uh, who cares? So we'll do that now. Truck is back in the garage now. The top's off. Uh, I've taken a lot of the interior out. Actually, all the interior that I've got to take out has been taken out. We're just deep cleaning everything now. This is probably, mm, it's gonna take a bit, really. We've got, I'll walk you around in a second, but We've got to clean out all these areas, get them real nice and clean and dirty and grease free and so that we can spray paint on them. So, From the dirty door and the a look at basically down in there needs cleaned up. The tops of these rails, I just pulled the top off. Those have got to get cleaned. All this area on the door needs to get cleaned off. We don't need to paint back here because the panel covers it. But the sides got to get cleaned and scuffed. The door jams or underneath the sills are out. Those got to get cleaned. All back in there is such a pain in the butt to clean off. The dash has to get cleaned because that's going to get painted. Uh, the, I don't know, inside of the roof underneath the headliner area has got to get cleaned. Uh, I think there's something in the front that needs cleaned. This one, I guess, has been cleaned already. So, Hunter was working on that. So this is what it should look like when it's done. This is just gonna need a scuff, and then I'll need to go back through and clean it off again with some wax and grease remover after I'm done scuffing it. But that's how that looks. The whole car on the outside, it's done. It's ready to be cleaned and painted. It's still real dusty, but this little bar has gotta get cleaned. But other than that, we're just taping. Cleaning and taping. The next clip that you see will be painting. Everything's pretty much prepped and ready to go here on this guy. Um, I'll walk you around and show you what I do for K5 Blazers. Take you off tripods and get that shaky cam and hear my mouth breathing. I know what you like. No, you're just stuck on a zip tie. Okay, tape off the grill. You can pull the hoods on these, I've done it that way before. Uh, get the whole grill out of there. Get the bumpers out the way, pull off the trim on the windows if you got them, get all the emblems off. Tape up the windows, leave them up. Tape your windshield, pull off the cowl. I, I usually pull the mirrors off, these ones I didn't. I can pull the doors off if you want, and take the key locks out. I don't care. Uh, tape them on the inside as well. Again, windows are up, tape off the sticker, tape the windshield on the inside. I, this bag, I need to put it over and then tape it underneath there, but I still gotta move the truck in and out. That final taping is gonna happen once I get it in my paint booth. But the idea is I need to tape off all this so that I can paint the underside of these dashes. Painting all the door jams, um, door panels off obviously. Everything in here, this is just a big tarp in here. It goes from one side clean to the other side, so there's nothing in here. I didn't have to remove it, I didn't have to vacuum it, didn't clean it, nothing. It's all taped off. Headliner's out, everything's sanded. All the panels are off, lights hanging. Uh, top's off, obviously. We taped around that seal there. Uh, taped around these back panels, since this is a Silverado. If you don't have the Silverado, then you won't have the a Silverado package trim you will not have the side panels. So you have to do something a little bit different. You'll likely want to paint those. So you're taping, you may want to remove the carpet if that's the case there. Um, taped off the back there, taped off all the trim around the tailgate. Gonna paint this guy. Um, all the glass is all the way down in there. And that's about it. So the next clip should more than likely be in the booth and spraying.
Okay, it is paint day. We're gonna set up the booth and push the car in, but the final reveal. I've been teasing you this whole time. Uh, we went with, mm, it's basically teal. It's a Gulf Stream Aqua Metallic. It's by, I think, TCP. Mm, restoration shop. I don't, uh, I don't know. I ordered it online. So, that, we got a gallon of it. That should do a K5 Blazer, I think. I've done one before with a gallon of black, so I didn't feel like ordering two or an extra quart. So I just did the gallon kit. We're gonna mix it up and uh, we'll set up our paint booth first. Okay, another voiceover here. Uh, that's paint, cool reducer it looks like. Um, we got the compressor going, that's, that's why I gotta do the voiceover. Um, there's me shaking up that paint. There's some more stuff, camera don't focus. Oh, uh, those are little filters. Just drain your paint before you put it in your gun. They come with the paint, that's an adjustment. You're gonna see lots of that. The reason I wore such tight clothes, it's not just for style points here. That's so when I'm spraying and leaning over certain panels when I'm painting the hood and the roof, my clothes and my fupa don't hit the car and stick on the paint. That's why everything's so tight. That's, that's why all the adjustments. Shake the paints, shake the paints. It's important to have somebody else reaching in there too. 
Another adjustment, got to read it. I'm reading in the mixing ratios right now, that's what I'm doing. Oh, oh two parts, one part. Brilliant. Self-explanatory. <laughs> self mm. Riveting stuff here, so... I think I, I think I've walked through some of the mixing before. I'll probably just just cut to some music and speed this up for you guys so it's not as painful. Everything's pretty pretty much out there. You can find all this stuff on on mixing ratios and how to spray this stuff and how to set up your gun and your compressor online. I'm certainly not the one that you need to watch to find that stuff. So take care and enjoy some subpar paint.